Hi, I'm Gemma and I am number one Christmas. Today I'm going to share with you something a little different. Over the weekend, I spent a lot of time pulling out all of my boxes of decorations and color matching to each of my themes. Now, as you know, each of my themes has an inspiration, like that antique suitcase for vintage glam or that beautiful uh, burgundy uh, velvet ribbon for burgundy bliss. But color matching was not as easy as I thought. Now this year really is going to be a challenge. I've never had this many trees and this many themes in one house. Tying them together I knew was going to be the challenge, but I didn't realize how hard color matching was going to be. There are so many shades of green and red and gold. So after a couple of hours of getting somewhat there, I decided I needed a base. So I sat down and said to my better half, I have got to put up a tree. The side look I got was not one of surprise, probably one that was like, well, I thought you were going to say this a lot earlier than now, but I'm not entirely crazy. I'm not about to put up 28 foot trees in my house. It is only July after all. So what I'm going to do is put up a base tree for each color tree have them fairly inconspicuously upstairs so no one can see them and work on perfecting my theme so I know how many items and what sort of colours are going in. Now you might ask why I need one of each base tree, what's that about? Well the colour of your tree makes the base and whilst I don't have black trees or red trees I have different shades of green and they're going to make the colours look very different. So the one behind me, this big one, is a flocked tree. Now you can see it has the green, but it is very white. Now most of the trees I have are just your basic green, so that's okay. But then I do have a couple of trees like this, which are more of that bluey green um, uh, color. So in order to make sure that each of those colors is gonna work on the right color base, I need to have one of each tree. So I thought, what am I, what am I gonna show everyone this week? Why don't I show you how I put up a tree? How I fluff each of the branches to make it look as full as it possibly can and how I put the lights on. Now, I do light a tree in a couple of different ways, um, but this way that I'm gonna show you today is probably the most common way that I do do it. So we're gonna start with this tree, which is going to make the base uh, for one of the themes I'm gonna share with you very, very soon. It's a fairly inexpensive tree. Actually, it's a really inexpensive tree. It cost me less than $50. I purchased it from Kmart on a whim last year on the way to the office. I had inadvertently put up the office tree in the house, so I needed something else to put up in the office. Now, it's a six foot tree, so it's not huge. It's not very wide, but it only has 662 chips. And it's never going to look like it does on the box. It's just the honest truth. If you buy a tree at this price point and expect it to look like it does on the box, you're probably not going to get what you're after. You really do need to keep going up in price to find something that looks like the picture. Now, in saying that though, you don't need to pay a lot of money for a tree. This tree, you're probably going to hardly see the actual tree by the time I'm finished with it. This one behind me, however, which costs a little bit more money, I don't fully decorate this tree. You can still see the beauty of the tree. So keep in mind what you're gonna to want to see and what you're gonna to wanna to use your tree for and just how many decorations you're gonna to wanna to put on it because that's going to give you an indication of just how much you need to pay for your tree. So, are you ready? Let's go. So, where do we start? Now, this is not a hinged tree and it's not a hooked tree. So a hooked tree is one where each of the branches has a tiny hook um, and they're color coded uh, as for the size, 
you hook them in and you take them out to put your tree down. Now a hinged tree actually has a hinge which bends up and stays up. Now this is kind of a hinged tree. It has a, a large um, metal uh, wire um, going from the base um, up through the branch. Um, they are fairly sturdy. You can maneuver them where you want, uh, which is good because as I'll show you later, you can, uh, you can fluff out the branches um, to make it look um, uh, full. You can also maneuver it into a corner. So one of the tips with some of these more cheaper trees um, is that you can actually move the branches around. Um, so the tree that I had last year, if you've seen the 2021 home tour video that was near the staircase, was actually quite a wide tree. But to make it look full and to get it where I wanted it, I actually maneuvered the branches so that at the staircase, it was actually almost flat at the back. Now, before I get going on these branches, I'm going to put my gloves on. So a tip I learned, unfortunately, a little too late last year was that you need gloves. If you are going to fluff this many trees and this many garlands and this many wreaths, your hands are going to hurt. And there's nothing worse than getting these little pine needle branches right underneath your nails. These gloves, they're just gardening gloves from Bunnings. Um, they're not the exceptionally thick ones. They're quite thin and so they allow you to uh, feel everything um, and maneuver your fingers quite easily. I would definitely get these if you are going to be decorating more than one tree. So I'll start, um, hopefully you can see, um, with a branch. Now each of these branches you're going to want to touch. So every single little branch you are going to want to lay your fingers on. Now some people will decorate trees differently and it all depends what the, the look that you're looking for. So with this one you can see that I've just kind of gone and touched every branch and I've just maneuvered it up. Now, I don't know about you, but when you see a lot of trees, you see people kind of just spraying them out to the side. So just like this. And that is where you get your gaps. So when you start to do that, you are never going to meet the branch that comes above it. You're always gonna have this layered effect. Now, some trees you're gonna to want to look like this. Um, some people you see kind of put the branches down. Now, if you've got a white flocked tree, that makes a little bit of sense. Because when snow falls on the trees in nature, it's heavy and it pushes the branches down. But most trees go up towards the sun. And so what you actually want to do to get the best effect is you want to have a bit of a firework. So you want to do left and up, right up, left up. So you want to kind of have it so that it fills in. Now, you're never going to get this right the first time. And what you will want to actually do is maneuver each of these as you put the branches down. Now you can see these branches, each of these needles, they're not very thick. It's got a couple of thick ones at the front, which hurt your hands if you don't have these gloves on, but they're not very thick. It's never going to look like the box, never. And that's okay. By the time I finished, like I said, you won't see the tree. So I'll just do another couple of these bottom branches and then I'll show you. I think the one thing I can share with you is spray your branches out. Don't be too concerned. Some go up, some go sideways, some go front, some go back. But the one tip, touch every single one of them. Don't leave any one flat. Don't leave any one sprawled around the wires. Don't leave them all connected. Touch every single one. So you can see this is starting to come together. Every branch gets touched and yet at $50, as you do it, you're going to lose 
quite a bit of greenery. But at $50, it's okay. Doesn't matter. And some of these have kind of bent downwards a little bit, so I'm just going to maneuver them up. And I'll just keep going on a couple of these. Now, I am not going to make you watch this entire video of me fluffing a tree. I mean, that would just be unkind. So what I'm going to do is show you how I do it. And then I'm going to speed the video up a little bit. What I want to do before we get to speeding up is show you how I light the tree. Now, to light the tree, I've got a giant ball of lights. Now, I will always start in the centre of the tree with the string at the end of the light. So I'm just going to pop the cord down there. And I will use two of the branch tips just to twist and secure the light into place. Now what I'm actually going to do here, once I get everything untangled, is manoeuvre them in and out of these branches. Okay. Now I'm going to go front and then I am going to go to the back. Now I'm not too concerned again about where these lights are right now because they will get adjusted as we manoeuvre each of the branches. But you can see how we're just moving in and out of the tips like so. Now what I'm actually going to do is show you, I'm going to bring these next two down just in front of me here and just show you because of the wire on this tree you can actually bring them down in the angle, in the gap between your bottom two uh, branches. So what that's going to do is start to fill the gap and again you just go up and out for each one of the tips and then at the end you actually want to kind of have a bit of a firework effect and the bottom tips kind of poking up and again with this one so you can see just in that small piece there it actually is not looking too bad. So keep watching while I do this on speed version and show you what it looks like when we're finished. Okay, so quick pit stop. You can see there's a lot of holes in this tree. Um, once upon a time, I would have been worried about that. Um, but at the moment, I'm not, because it's actually going to help me to secure quite large items, which you'll see in the coming month. I wanted to do a pit stop just to show you the bottom of the tree, sorry, the top of the tree, I should say. And the reason I wanted to show you this is that you can see on this tree, there's some branches at the bottom that are very similar to that hinge or that wire that we've been working with. But at that point, that stops and you actually start to get these individual tips. Now, Working with these individual tips can be difficult. You will always have a layer. So if I show you, you can see there, that's one layer. You can see there's a gap 
and then you'll have another layer. So these I usually kind of face upwards a little bit, bent around and face up. As I said again, tree grows up, goes towards the sun, unless of course it's got snow on it and this tree doesn't. So stay with me while I put the top on. easy was that one tree up no time at all completely lit ready to go it's an ugly duckling it really is an ugly duckling but it's a blank canvas and by the time I finish decorating it'll be a beautiful swan for this tree you watched me weave the lights in and out of the branches and that's provided some depth Gone are the days of going around and around and around the tree. What I will have though I know are some dark spots, especially at the top where you've got those single tips coming out and it's a little bit harder to weave in and out. So I've got some lights left over, which I'll leave like that until I'm decorating and then I'll add some lights into pockets of darkness. Now, ordinarily, I'll go 100 plus lights per foot of tree. But for this string, I've only got 480 lights in total. And because the tree is so thin and the tips are so thin, it doesn't need a, a, a lot of lights on. But if I get to a point once it's decorated where I need more, then I've got more red green lights or even other colors that I can add. What I want to show you really quickly is how to fill some of these holes. Now, I'm not too worried at the moment. Um, you can see these quite large gaps and I'm not too concerned because as I decorate, it's going to uh, reduce those significantly. But I just want to show you how easy it is. Now I've got these oversized baubles. Um, I've got multiple. Um, you can purchase these from Costco uh, Bunnings also has them, but they usually sell out fairly quickly. Um, now, what I want to do is I don't want to hang it off the tree like this. I want it to actually sit in the tree. And so a tip that I don't know what I did before I learned this. Tip I got from Gina Loves Christmas is to use wire on all your ornaments. Why did I ever use the little uh, ties that came with the ornaments? I don't, I don't know. So I've just got like an 18 gauge floral wire and I'm going to actually wire it straight to the branch into the heart of the tree because what I want to see on this ornament is this piece. I don't want to see this. I want to see this. So we're going to go straight in here and I'm going to be cautious. I'm going to go to the bottom and pick a branch. And I'm just going to wrap it around just once. You don't need to wrap it too many times. And you can see that filled that hole quite nicely. I'll show you another one. Just a green, ordinary bauble, okay? And so we're gonna find another gap, another hole. We'll go over here and we'll just have it again, just for once. Just like so. So you can see, you're already starting to see that come together and already we're seeing those gaps get filled. Now, as I add ribbon, as I add other items, more of these large baubles um, and other picks, this tree will come to life. So if you're interested in seeing just how it comes to life over the next couple of weeks, please 
keep following these videos follow number one christmas on facebook or instagram or subscribe to our youtube channel i'm really loving sharing my decorating tips and the progression of planning for christmas 2022 with you and i hope you're enjoying it too if you would like any tips or there's something in particular you want me to decorate or show you please send me a message or comment on one of the videos i'm always looking for new challenges so this tree and this theme I'm not telling you what it is yet will come to life over the next couple of weeks thank you very much for joining me again and i hope to see you again soon